Hi guys, this is Josh from Pageant Empress and today is the day number 6 for Miss Universe 2024. I'm really looking forward to seeing the registration, the fittings, the outfits, the fashion and I heard that some of the contestants will be flying to different parts of Mexico which we'll, I will also discuss further down in this video. Since I am, you know, I do have a bit low vitamin C so I am drinking the double C vitamin C 200% and this is the lemon and lime which is my favorite I get from 7-eleven so I recommend you guys probably drink it <laughs> throughout the video because I have enough vitamin D because I like to go out but I don't have enough vitamin C so cheers <sighs> mm, very good I feel fresh so let's start the videos first one we have this is from yesterday day number five registration and fittings starting with Finland Finland is one of my favorites. I think she's beautiful and she looks stunning in this video So let's go to Matilda's Instagram to see how she looks but beautiful photo Matilda Just natural very effortless poised graceful and Finland I think will just Surprise everyone. I think she could go all in in top 12 at the moment I'll say top 12 because I think Denmark is slightly she has an edge because of the previous experience but I'm pretty confident that Finland will place quite high I'll say top 12 and uh, let's see this one really nice very long legs I don't know her height exactly so if you do know her height let me know but I think she's 178 I want to say she is 510 or more than that because she has long legs beautiful face beautiful natural smile Beautiful. I like Finland. I think Finland could go all in. Uh, we looked at that yesterday, so look at the new content. She's giving us a model. She could work in Paris as a fashion model. She just looks professional and I like this outfit. It's very simple and it's not because it's black. Okay, I know I like wearing black a lot because it's very s simple, but it just looks good. You could see the, the body proportion, the shape and the silhouette of the body easily in, in black. So she looks great. I like this outfit. Yeah, she it says she means business. She's ready for the interview. This could easily with the jacket, a blazer on top, this could easily be a close to interview outfit. And I think she looks fantastic. I, I like it. So I like Finland. If you guys also like Finland, let me know in the comment section. I think Finland is one of the best from Europe. I'm really excited to see how she will do during the preliminary competition because I know that that is definitely a hurdle for a lot of the European countries. Who's this? Beautiful. Is that Slovakia? Petra. She looks stunning on this picture. I think it's on this one too. Uh, let's go back first. This one. This is from the official Miss Universe page, so I'll just go through it. And I think they have tagged the contestant, which is something that they did not do previously. So I'm really happy that they have listened to the advice of the fans. I think she looks beautiful, Slovakia. So Petra, right? We're looking at the European beauties. This one, let's take a look at this. Day 6, fitting, official photo shoes, check, check. Beautiful. She is giving us model. I think a lot of the European girls, since they are more focused on fashion industry more than beauty pageant, I think that you could see a lot of them look at her walk very much model. She's a top model. I like it. Yes. Top 12 for Slovakia. Beautiful. Look at that face. Gorgeous. What placement will you give to Slovakia? I will say top 12 as of now because there are so many strong contestants to place in top 5. But... If she gives good interview, maybe she'll be in top five. But at the moment, top twelve is a very good placement for Slovakia. And I have I don't remember the last time they placed in Miss Universe. It has been a while, so it is really nice to see small countries like Slovakia sending stunning contestants to Miss Universe competition. So I'm yeah, I'm quite confident with her. Beautiful, look at that. The hair is lovely, the makeup looks good, gold is shining on her skin tone, so I think she looks great. Slovakia is one of the best from Europe for sure. Beautiful. Stunning. I'm happy that she's posting more often now. So this is, as she says in the caption, my dinner look for today's dinner at the Intercontinental Mexico wearing Salon Nicole.sk. Okay. So, and she said what I thought in this outfit. 
I really like the back detail. I think it is really sexy. I think it's a very simple dress. It's very shiny, so it's had a lot of sequins. I mean, it's okay. It's not my favorite. She has wore better dresses. It's it's fine. I like the back detail more than the front. I mean, the front is fine. It's, yeah, it's a simple dress, nothing like out of the ordinary. But I like this photo because you could really see that she is focusing more on the back detail, which is really nice. I like this, yeah, the deep V neck, uh, V back detail. Yeah, it looks really nice. Okay, any other pictures? I mean, that face, face card is beautiful for Slovakia. Beautiful. Even this one. I think this dress is better than the one she wore for the dinner, but... I think it's a different designer, right? Beautiful. Really nice curves. Pretty tall. You could see how tall she is next to Kun An. Because Kun An is also not a small person. She is like 5'9", I think, Kun An. She's quite tall. So, you could see Slovakia looks beautiful next to Czech Republic and Kun An. USA, Slovakia, Czech Republic. All beautiful, but my eyes are straight focused on Slovakia. Beautiful. Graceful body. Everything is good. Let's go to her tagged if she has posted anything new. If not, we're moving on to a different one. So I wanted to see, let's go back to the official page. So who is the, the one next to her? Let's go to IG. Ilda is Congo. So I think Democratic Republic of Congo. Is this the first time they're competing? I, I don't remember her, this country joining before in Miss Universe. I could be wrong. I know they competed in uh, Miss World, but I don't remember them competing in Miss Universe. So let me know if you're from Congo, if this is the first time they're joining. But beautiful regardless. Really nice skin tone. Wow, she's standing next to a powerhouse country like Venezuela, and she's still holding her own, I would say. I mean, obviously Venezuela looks her best, but she still looks decent. I think red is a really nice color. Cute. Uh, I think that's Samoa. She always has flowers on her head, so I remember Samoa now. <laughs> Uh, the one in the middle is beautiful too. Equatorial Guinea. Okay, let's give it a like and move on to the next picture. Is that uh, a sponge? Is she holding a sponge? Yesterday, getting shoots ready with the amazing Gioni Virgini. I hope <laughs> that's, that's the right name. Uh, by the official page. Yeah, I want to go to the official page. I think it's one of the sponsors, right? Let's go to this page. So it says Beauty Cosmetic sponsored for the Miss Universe competition. Ecuador looks beautiful, very minimal. I don't think she has makeup on except lip balm. Beautiful Ecuador, I love her. I think Mara Topic is beautiful, stunning. Let's see, I think they need to post more with the contestants. I haven't seen except Mexico and Ecuador. So yeah, there's only one with Mexico. This is during the national contest in Miss Universe. Mexico. So I think they should collaborate more with contestants like this. This will be a great way to promote their brand. Uh, okay. I think Congo is fine. Let's see her in action. Really cute. She looks really intelligent. She reminds me of the contestants from Miss USA. We see a lot who are really like knowledgeable. They have brains, beauty. So I think she is from Congo, right? Just want to make sure because they are. Sometimes we have contestants who are based in the USA, but they are representing the home countries. But she looks great. Hola Mexico. Hola Mexico. Hola, hola. Let me make the volume slightly lower because I think it's a bit too loud. Hola. Okay, cute look. All right, this is New York City. Maybe she is based in the New York. Yes, look at her just walking around. It's, I, <laughs> I noticed no one else is... Uh, why is she walking when it's red light? So that's follow the rules, lady. It says stop. But she is like, I'm going to give you a runway. Everyone else is stopping at the red, red light. You can see, look at that. Traffic says stop. Anyway, it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to a different country now. But it's nice to see, once again, small countries like Congo competing in Miss Universe. I think she speaks French because the caption looks like it's French. Uh, oh, it says here, so absence for 38 years. So they have previously competed in Miss Universe, but Congo is returning after 38 years of absence. So it's really nice to see Congo coming back after 38 years in Miss Universe competition. This is a lovely African print, beautiful outfit for the airport. So we're moving on to a different girl. Uruguay. Yanni. 
Beautiful. Her eyes are a little bit sleepy, but I think she looks beautiful. Let's go to Uruguay's Instagram. Beautiful face. All right, you. There we go. Magic. <laughs> she wants to have her shoes. Is it sponsored? It looks like it's a sponsored video. Cute. Look at, let's look at her runway. Beautiful. She could be a dark horse in the competition. I, I don't remember Uruguay placing on Miss Universe. Tell me, no, let me know in the comment section when was the last time they actually placed because I really don't remember. But she's beautiful though, so maybe she'll make in top 30. I think it's possible. I like her hairstyle and the makeup. Uh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. I like this. I think this hair and makeup really looks good on her. I mean, the hair could be a bit better. This part is not necessary. I think this one is more, more successful. I like this. Yeah. She looks good with the Mexican culture, like makeup, headdress, costume. It's a really nice look. Yeah, I think she looks beautiful in this one. So nice to see Uruguay shining in the Missouri's competition. Good job, Uruguay. Nice. The only thing I don't like about this outfit is the shoes. I don't like platform heels, especially like this type of platform heels. Uh, except the shoes, I think it's a really nice outfit. Yeah, really fresh. She looks almost Miss Teen, almost. I don't know how young she is, but she looks really young. Let's look at her with Peru, uh, Nicaragua, and Uruguay. They're all beautiful. Obviously, I'm kind of focused towards Peru, but they all look really nice. And I think Uruguay could do really well for Miss World because she looks really young. I don't know how old she is, but Uruguay gives me 18, 19 years old. Like, probably one of the youngest in the competition. But beautiful, though. Okay, let's go to a different one now. Yeah, nice. Okay, I'm going to go to a different one, but this is a really nice photo of Uruguay. Then we have... Guatemala and let's go to Guatemala first uh, I'm going to close this too Guatemala is Ana Gabriela so uh, this is wait is this recent no this June let's go to a recent one five hours ago beautiful face she looks like Filipina is it just me she looks kind of Asian it's the eyes I guess but beautiful Guatemala Cute close up, very nice hair, hairstyle. Yeah, I think a lot of girls look good when they're dressed up in a Mexican style outfit. This is really lovely. I like her dress, her headdress is also really nice. She looks good. I think she's small, right? She looks about 5'7. I want to say like 5'6, five, 5'7. Five, she doesn't look that tall, but really graceful and elegant. Let's look at her video, how she looks in videos. So before well she has makeup on so this is before the hairstyle after the hairstyle i wish the makeup was a bit more elaborate but after looking at the live stream i don't think the makeup really matters during this uh katrina's fashion show that they did um yeah really cute so is this oh, okay so embassy for um uh, mexican embassy i think it's in guatemala lovely okay moving on she looks really cute in this picture very young, youthful face. Then we have Bahamas. Let's look at Bahamas. Is this live stream? Oh, she's getting ready. Okay. Bahamas. So let's look at pictures because I don't want to see long live streams. It's going to take forever. Really nice. I think the, the matches, uh, the, sorry, the dress matches with the is this makeup remover. Yeah. By Seitu Official. Really nice. Uh, beautiful close-up photos. She wasn't Miss Grand, right? She looks almost the same, but I can see a bit of changes in her makeup style from Miss Grand International to Miss Universe. So that's good that she has some progress from then to now. It says Mexican Music Factory. I cannot play the music, guys, because of copyright issues, but... Really nice, regardless. I think this color looks really nice. The green looks really good against a dark skin tone. So Bahamas is beautiful. Uh, any other? Okay, let's look at runway. I like looking at runway videos. 
because this allows us to know how she's going to perform in the preliminary competition so Bolivia is also beautiful Bahamas I remember Bahamas I think she got best in swimsuit right in Miss Grand International is that correct let me know in the comment section I think she won best in swimsuit so I am really confident that the Bahamas will give a spectacular run representation any other videos should we still look at white looks really good against the skin tones maybe she should wear something like this for the preliminary competition yeah this is a very nice outfit very nice styling she kind of gives me chelsea manalo vibes in this outfit miss philippines but really beautiful i think white looks really good let's look this is okay i mean i'm not a big fan of the the tights except the tights i think it's a really nice jacket cute this is also nice yeah look this looks really nice pink looks really nice against the skin tone so something like this will look good so we have uh canada okay i think that's iceland okay hold on canada iceland equatorial guinea india bahamas and who's the last one guadalupe was it no cordova sorry yeah the video quality is not that great so there we go we have a runway they all look really good i don't know who looks the best but they all look pretty good yes enjoying themselves I see Queen Anne in the middle, of course, having a blast. Good. So yeah, I think Bahamas could place in top 30. What placement will you give Bahamas, guys? Let me know in the comment section. This is really good. She's really tall. I remember she's like 5'10", 5'11", so her height is probably going to be one of her best strengths and also her runway skills, so I'm excited to see. Okay, then. Let's look at this one. Ooh, no, no, no music. Argentina, Venezuela... Paraguay they're all really beautiful I would say pause I'm kind of drawn towards Venezuela but Argentina also looks really good and you could see that sh I mean the heels I'm not a big fan of the platform but except the heels I think the outfit wise I would say Argentina has the best outfit and probably the best pose too because it's really like smooth beautiful second best will be Venezuela I don't really like the hand position if she ha has the hand down I'll probably say Venezuela also looks really good, <clears throat> but I don't like the shoes of Argentina or Venezuela. But second best, I will say Venezuela, and then the last one would be Paraguay. Paraguay is wearing a legging. I don't like leggings. I'm really sorry if you do like leggings. I just don't find it elegant. Leggings, I think it's only good for maybe like sports, but not for pageants. So Paraguay, um, she's fine. But yeah, I think Argentina looks the best, I would say, among the styling-wise. Second Venezuela, then Paraguay. I, like, is, is it just me? Argentina is giving me Diana Mendoza, Miss Universe. Like, every time I look at her, she looks like Miss Universe. So I feel that Argentina will probably place in top 12 and will be a dark horse in the competition. I'm quite confident that she will probably be favoured by the Latino judges. I think they will really like her. So I will say, if you do not have Argentina in your list, you need to have her. ASAP top 12 as of now and Venezuela obviously because you know it's a pageant powerhouse country and she also performs really good so you need to have those two countries in your list then we have Malaysia she is super sweet so what did it say 13 days of Miss Universe competition so we have 13 days uh, less than two weeks until the final night which is on the 16th of November I think for me it will be 17 because I live in Thailand so it will be morning for me but if you live in the Americas or in the American continent North or South America it will be for you on the 16th of November at night time so for me in Asia if you're Asian if you live in Asia for us it will be in the morning of the 17th of November so yeah it's in my birthday so I'll be really happy yeah I'll be celebrating my birthday and watching Miss Universe together so let's watch together okay Miss Universe Oh. let me hydrate myself because i feel like my throat is getting really dry <clears throat> so yeah malaysia sandra limbs looks beautiful it's a really interesting neck uh, neck design like neckline it's kind of like um uh, yeah i don't know what to call this but the color looks really nice and malaysia argentina i just talked about her i think she will probably be someone to watch out for let's look at if her if she see what i mean come on guys come on argentina looks like a diva in the best way possible when i say diva she looks fantastic this is a really successful look uh she looks really tall i think she's like six foot but i think argentina could make it top 12. do you guys agree with me or disagree let me know in the comment section but look at that the face is just 
beautiful really really stunning so i will say argentina top 12 i think she will look look at that she gives me a mix of diana mendoza with um i forgot her name the first runner-up from colombia when pia what's back won in back in 2013 i forgot her name oh my god what was her name adriana no ariadna right her name is Ar Ar ariadna she's giving me a bit of ariadna in this picture with a hint of diana mendoza stunning though beautiful okay top 12 for now but i'm waiting to see how will she perform on the stage but facially and body and the height everything is like check 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 tick 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 let's go to the makeup sponsor so this is by the c2 she has very bushy eyebrows which some people will like it some will not like i personally like bushy eyebrows because i also have them <laughs> so i think it looks really attractive in people i personally like it but i don't know if you guys like it what do you think of women or beauty queens who have eyebrows like this which is a bit more heavy it's not like tiny eyebrows right i think she looks beautiful though in the, the close-ups i don't like the earring i could do without the earrings but facially beautiful uh let's look at runway go argentina Bam, bam, bam. Wow, she's beautiful. Okay, I'm noticing Argentina. I have a lot of positive things to say about her because she really looks good. Like, guys, I, I know a lot of you do not have Argentina on the list, but you need to like, take some notes because she will be spoiling your top list. So I would say Argentina top 12. She's beautiful, stunning. Okay, another video. I like how the green, the outfit of the green is kind of transcending to the background as well. I like that in the Miss Universe logo you can see. But her eyes is beautiful. I love eyes. I'm, I'm really focused on eyes. If you have beautiful eyes, automatically for me you are in the top. She has stunning eyes. Can you see that the Mexico uh, MX? Yeah. It's like transcending. In the back, it's reflecting into the background of the mirrors. So I think it's really good. So I'll say she'll be top 12. So we like her, okay? So if you guys like Argentina, let me know. Then I haven't gone to Sandra's Instagram. Let's go to her Instagram. Her name is Magali. So she, her name reminds me of the um, was it the National Act of the Dominican Republic. I think her name is Magali as well. Okay, let's go to Malaysia. Pretty, very pretty. She looks like an actress, someone I could see in like a Hong Kong movie. And I know Michelle, um, what's the last name? Michelle Yeo. Yeah, Michelle Yeo is also from Malaysia who did uh, Hong, Hong Kong movies and now Hollywood. So maybe if she's good at acting, she could do that. But she looks like an actress in this photo. Beautiful. Let's look at her in action. So this, she still has makeup. So I think this is before the hair and after the hair. Really pretty. I think Malaysia is just one of my favorites from Asia. I have to say it. I think she's a lot stronger than some of the girls who have passion sash. So I know her sash is not that strong, but facially beautiful. Yeah, we looked at this one. Is, this looks good. Yeah. She looks fresh. Like she's glowing on this, on the camera. Maybe she should try green. Green looks really good against her skin tone. Green and blue. Like it looks really nice against her fair skin tone. So... Yeah, you know what, Malaysia top 30, right? I think placement is secured for Malaysia after a very, very long time. So I think Malaysia could place really high. Pretty. I don't like his hairstyle though, I'll be honest. I think slick back is not her forte. This is not nice, but this hairstyle looks a lot better in uh, Sandra's face, face type. Because she has a very small face, so try not to do like a, like a slick back. Because her face is so small, if you do slick back, it will look even more like tiny. So it doesn't look proportionate with the rest of the body. But she's beautiful. So curls. Even straight hair looks fine. But I would say this hairstyle is probably the most successful for her. Like I like this look. This could be her preliminary competition look or the final look too. This is really successful. So good job to Malaysia. We're moving from Malaysia to Tanzania and the Netherlands. So I'm, I will try to cover as many girls as possible. So I'll only talk for like a minute or so about each of the girls. I hope that's okay. Okay, uh, we have, uh, what's her name? Judith Peter. Uh, she is Miss Miss Tanzania. How do you say, it? is that, is it Tanzania? Is it Tanzania? How do you say it? Tanzania? I don't know how to say this country name properly, but she, this is cute. Tanzania with Kenya. Cute photos with, of course, Finland. We love Finland. Really cute. Uh, uh, what country is that? Eritrea? Eritrea, right? That's in Africa. Uh, okay, one of the lands. I don't know which land this is. I want to say Ireland because this looks like an E. K. 
cute. Uh, okay, she looks very casual, posing, cute looks. That's uh, fine. Uh, let's look at this one. Really cute. This is a really nice styling. And it's really nice to see a picture on the luggage day. It's really cute. Um, oh, Jamaica is beautiful, by the way. Tanz Tanzania looks nice too. But I'm just looking at... Um, she seems like a nice person. She's taking photos of a lot of contestants, so that's really good. This is a nice outfit. Yes, tie-dye. Looks really nice. Can we look at... Hold on a moment. I want to go... Oh, she didn't tag her. I want to see Jamaica. Jamaica looks beautiful. Uh, okay, we're going to a different country now. The Netherlands, Faith. Uh, where is IG? Faith. Miss Universe, the Netherlands. Uh, okay, Faith. Beautiful. Pretty. Her eyes. I said this before too. I am a person who looks at eyes a lot. So if your eyes are stunning, I like you. So her beautiful her eyes are beautiful. Very piercing eyes. It looks almost like greenish. Is that green? Very pretty. Let's look at the Netherlands. Oh, let me see properly. My seat is making noise. It's uh, okay, I think that's a sponsor, right? Beautiful. Let's look at a better course video. This is by George. Beautiful. Stunning. Her eyes matches the outfit. So her eyes, is it green or is it blue? Because it matches the outfit and the outfit is pastel blue. Beautiful. Her runway needs improvement though. It's not smooth, but her facial beauty is beautiful. I would say top 30. What do you guys think? Top 30 for Netherlands? I think she probably is good at speaking, but beautiful face. She could be a dark horse in the competition. And I like Dutch beauties. They do really good in pageants. Recently, Melissa Botema from the Netherlands placed in top 10 in the last year's Miss Grand International. And I think they're doing pretty well. So yeah, I'm excited. This is a really nice outfit for the Netherlands. Really pretty. Okay. I do still think her runway is not the best because when she's walking, it's a bit like bobbing head. Like it's not, it's not very calm. In here she looks good, but I noticed when she did the, let's see the other runway videos, you'll notice it. Okay, this is just posing, it's pretty, but when she did this one, I didn't really like her runway. Like face is beautiful though, you cannot deny the face. The beauty is there, it's just that she needs to polish her runway. Runway skills is maybe like 6 out of 10, it's not that great. Like look, 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 see? It's very bouncy. Mm, no, runway is not good. So top 30 for now. Okay, we're going from the Netherlands to... I like the outfit of Netherlands in this one. It looks like Coco Chanel, like Chanel outfit. Vintage Chanel. Then we have Germany, let's go to... Her name is Pia. I noticed a lot of German girls have that name Pia. I know like three girls from Germany whose name is Pia. Okay, moving down. She reminds me of the Real Housewives. I've seen, I've watched a couple of them, especially the one in um, Orange, Orange County. Hold on, the one in Hollywood. Yeah, she could easily fit in with the Real Housewives. Yeah, beautiful though. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Wow, her body's insane. This is really nice. She kind of reminds me of Erica from The Real Housewives. Just a, just a hint. The one who became singer, yeah. She reminds me of Erica. This is nice, this outfit looks nice. Pretty. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go to a different one. Iceland, really cute. She looks really young. Her name is, wait, that's not Iceland. Hold on a moment. Oh no, moment though. I, I think Miss Universe tagged the wrong girl. Okay, I mean, I wanted to go to her Instagram, but that's not her. Like, I clearly clicked on her and it went to a guy. Okay, anyway, go back. Uh, go back to this one. No, where is it? This one. Um, okay, so that was the last one. Anyone else? Let's see, look at this one. Oh, Botswana is beautiful. Who else do we have? India. Okay, so a glimpse of her. Switzerland. Are you speaking? Oh, that's loud. Hold on. Let me make the volume lower. It's really loud. <laughs> I don't want to like hurt your ear. ear.
Okay, good. First I'm seeing Switzerland. Uh, okay. Oh, Egypt. We love Egypt. Beautiful face, Egypt. I said Botswana has a beautiful face. I think she could be in top 30. What do you think of Botswana? Have they tagged them? No, they have not. Botswana looks nice on this this video. Also, in Indonesia, I saw a glimpse of her. Not too much. Then, I think we should go to international pool. What do you guys think? Or mystery updates. I'm fine with either of them. Uh, let's go to international pool first. So, international pool posted this like four hours ago. So, she said, tomorrow trip to... Guadalajara for two days and one night. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing the place name. So it says Bonaire, Thailand and US with three other contestants. They have not named the countries. So six people, six contestants will be traveling to Guadalajara, Mexico. So a new place. That's interesting. I want to see how it's going to look like. So it's promoting various parts of Mexico, right? So this is really nice. And I think it's about time they do something outdoor because they were stuck in hotel for like the past five days. This day six. Past six days. So yeah. Who's this? Oh, Chile. We love Chile. Let's go to Chile's Instagram. I Hold on. You tagged her, right? Uh, it's a nice outfit. I'll go in a moment. Let's just look at overall look. So this we have France, of course, French hat. Uh, Laos. Laos looks like she's wearing poem, which is a Thai designer. Really cute. Then Thailand, beautiful, really pretty opal. Okay, she has tagged opal, so we'll go to opal's IG next. I'll close the others. What's already looked at? Okay, opal Sujata, Thailand. Beautiful. This looks like a painting, the outfit. Beautiful. Yes, give us that turn. Smooth. Pretty. Oh, thank you, Paui. So it's Paui who interviewed her. So I get to listen to her speak. She's so sweet. I really like her personality. She was greeting the media person. In this case, it's Missology, Pawi, Miss Pawi. And I just like that she was greeting them. And of course, the fans who was... She's just being humble and she has so much kindness and empathy. I just really like Opal. I think she's really cute. I will say top five. I think she probably is the strongest. I might even say that she is the strongest in Asia. As far as her, her talent, her speaking skills, her body, her height, her beauty. Social project, all of that is just check, check, check. So I think she'll be in top five. Very good. I'm a woman with a purpose. She makes sure she highlight the keywords. She, what is her legacy? She has a purpose. She wants to help through her social advocacy and furthering down inspiring the young generation through her social work. So that's exactly who she is. I love the answer. Very good. There we go. Her project. Absolutely. That is, if you answer like this in the final, Opal, Trust me, if, I don't know if you're going to watch this video, but if you do watch this video, you need to speak like this. If you speak like this for the finals, you will get the crown. Trust me, mong nenon kap. Answer like this, kupudi makmak put boy boy. Menjai, very confident, very well spoken, very eloquent. She needs to speak like this more often because on stage especially, even though there's a lot of pressure, if you speak like this very eloquently and composed, calm way of speaking. I think she could win Miss Universe because she ha she's giving me like aura. She has a very nice aura and I think she could easily place in top five. But after that, it all boils down to how she answers the questions. So please be very careful because listening to her speak so far, I'm really impressed with her Q&A skills.
Oh, she's so sweet. I like her. Let's go to Miss Powie's page after this. Okay, let's look at her photos first. Really cute. She looks like an artwork. I mean, the dress is fine, but her beauty is glowing from within, and that is the most important thing. Uh, I might have to mute this one because it has music. Cannot have music. Uh, throwback. Where is? Where did she go? So she is in a church. I don't know if this is in Mexico. It's a Catholic. Is it a Catholic church? Let's see properly. Nice. So she's sightseeing around. I don't know where this is though. So like she should have tagged the place. I don't. I cannot tell the location. Really beautiful. Beautiful. I like the outfit. Reminds me of Thai or Chu Thai, the Thai dress which is renowned due to the Queen Sirikit of Thailand when she traveled around the world. She promoted the local Thai outfit, textiles, fabrics, and this looks very really beautiful. I like it. It's very simple, but I like that she's she's shining, and I think that's really important. Okay, I'll be honest, this hair is not giving me wow, though. The hair is a bit flat. She needs a bit more hair. Hair and makeup. That's one thing I don't really like about the Latin makeup artists, is they don't know how to do makeup on Asian face. I've noticed this year, year on, like every year since, uh, what, five years, I would say the last five years, when they do makeup on Asian face like her, like she has a very Asian face, it, they don't know how to contour properly and the hair is really flat. If you look at when Asian hair, makeup artists do the hair and makeup, I'll show an example after this, so this one. Hi Pawi, just give me a moment, I will show you this one, so you understand what I'm trying to say. Like you, right? Look at his hairstyle. Uh, I'm an Asian person, I'll show you. So, okay, for example, I mean, yes, it's India's. So you can see India, her hair is really smooth. And her fara, which is the wavy hair, it has a lot of volume into it. It's very flowy. Compare this to the one Opal has. Opal curls is really tight. And it just doesn't look good, the tight hair. And also the contouring, it doesn't look good against the skin tone. I'll show you another one. So... Okay, let's go to Malaysia. Like Malaysia hair is also very thick, right? It has a lot of volume, weight to it. But it looks really soft and effortless because he managed to make it look really light and airy. So I want to see this type of hairstyle in Asian girls like Opal. And I noticed that a lot of the Latin makeup artists, especially the hairstylists, they don't know how to do makeup or other hair for Asian faces. You could see even the contour in Mel Melissa's face. It just looks really nice. And they are highlighting the right areas, like the nose, the tip of the nose, the bridge, and this part, uh, the cheeks, they are, it is really beautifully highlighted. So I think they really need to work on it because I really don't like it because this makeup, it does nothing to Opal. She looks much better when she does her own hair and makeup. So this makeup is no. No, no bonita. No, no, no. But this is muy bonita. This is her doing her own hair and makeup. So this looks so much better. Yeah. So I think she should do her own hair and makeup because this is tragic. No. This hair and makeup is not doing it for me. Okay, we're going to a different girl now. After Thailand, we could talk about uh, Cote d'Ivoire, Kenya, pretty. I think we should go to Pawi, right? Pawi has some videos. We could watch some videos. Okay, hello Pawi. Thank you for uploading. So I'll go down and look at Canada first. Yes, Canada. Oh, she looks like she's ready for the rehearsals. Hair and makeup is beautiful. Let's listen to her. That's brilliant. So she is the first native Canadian woman to represent Canada at the world stage of Miss Universe. It took them like 70 years, but hey, they are there. Not 70 years, but 60 years, right? Yeah, 60 plus years. I don't know when they first competed in Miss Universe. But beautiful. That's a very good answer. I think she'll make in top 30. I don't know, top 12. Because it's a very stiff competition. She speaks really good. And she has very good social uh, awareness, social projects she does. And I think she will be probably one of the best in the close interview. I can really see the judges really liking her. I know that Nova is one of the judges too, who is a previous Miss Universe Canada. So she does have some people like an ally in the judges panel too. So 
it's not necessary for Nova to be there, but since she's there, I do think Canada will make top 30. Very cute. Venezuela. Oh, go mute. Beautiful. She looks like an ambassador for any big brand. Let's listen to her speak. Oh, well done. Beautiful. Beautiful, stunning. I like it. I mean, I, obviously, I think she said like she was thanking and being grateful to her fans and supporters, right? Look at the runway. The runway is just spectacular. I think she has one of the best stage presence. Look, look at that. Look, look at the turn. It's so smooth, very effortless, and she's really well aware of her body language, and that is something I think all of the girls should be just taking up their advice, looking at girls like Venezuela, Colombia, the girls who have really good passerella or Puerto Rico. Uh, and just take notes because I noticed some of the girls, not her, like other girls, they have really heavy f like footsteps and Venezuela has very light footstep which makes it look really effortless when she's on the stage. So looking at her runway, it's beautiful. Her smile is nice. The only thing I don't like about Venezuela is that she likes to do this a lot. I think put the hand down, hand should be on the waist, do not cover the face because she has a beautiful face but sometimes she likes to cover the face and hair so just put the hand down. And, tall, and I think she will look much better. Posing wise, I would say 8 out of 10. Like this, see what I mean? She always puts her hand up, it's covering her face. Put like this is better. Beautiful. And next we have contestants going down. I think, is this from, okay, so there's sightseeing, latest sight sighting. Albania, Iceland, Poland, Egypt. That was really quick. Uh, it was a quick cut. Japan, Cayman Islands. Aww. Oh, Argentina looks good. China, Vietnam, Israel. Wow, Vanessa did not even look down when she's walking down. Look at that, that's a professional right there. Okay, who else is there? Macedonia. Portugal, aww, cute. Is that it? Oh, Myanmar, okay. I think she might be the last one. Oh, she's speaking. No, there is no speaking. There is the music. I'm not playing music. Okay, nice. Next. Let's look at uh, Nicaragua. Nice runway. But they are the reigning country. Country who won Miss Universe. So let's listen to her. There is very high expectation for Nicaragua to get a back-to-back -back placement or win. I don't know about winning, but I think she could place maybe top 30 because Shanice has raised the bar so high and uh, her name is what? Gesell? Gesell Garcia. She has a lot of expectation. Um, so let's see. Do you like Nicaragua? What placement will you give Nicaragua? Muchima gracias. Okay, we start Thailand. Okay, he hasn't posted other videos, so uh, who should we look at next? <clears throat> oh, Dominican Republic. Let's look at her next. Celine, and we will look at Bolivia after Celine. I've said this before. I'll say it again. She has one of the most beautiful faces in the competition. I mean, just look at that face. Beautiful. I heard from my Latino followers that she is not the best speaker, so hopefully she improves her communication skills because facially this girl is one of the best. Like 9 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10. Her beauty is stunning. Beautiful face. So I really want her to be confident, be really good at public speaking because that's how you get the attention of the room, the audience, the judges. So facially beautiful though, like absolutely stunning. Okay, look, no, look at that. Come on now. Come on, guys. Tell me she doesn't look like a Latina Barbie. Beautiful. 
I love her face. Her skin tone is beautiful as well, really nice. I like the makeup and the styling, the hairstyle overall looks really classy. She looks like she's ready to go to Paris Fashion Week. She probably has like a lot of land in her hometown, in her home country. Uh, she looks rich, really expensive. I like this. Nice, really nice styling. Wait, I think this might... Beautiful. This makeup looks really nice. It's more like subtle. I, I remember saying like two days ago, like her makeup was too harsh, too much. This one is nice. Less is more for Celine because she has really strong facial features. So it's really about making sure highlighting the right areas. And this one is nice. Maybe a little bit of highlight on the face, but overall it's really nice. I like this. It's very natural. Bye bye. Okay, next. So who do we have? Bolivia, right? Uh, let's close Celine's. We'll go, we'll go to Bolivia after this. Uh, what is her name? Bolivia. Well, I, I think I've opened hers. Uh, Juliana. Okay, let's open hers. Juliana from Bolivia. She's talented. I hope it's not corporate music. Ooh. She can use two, like, what, two piano, play to a piano with two hands. That is incredible. She's really talented. Yes. I hope she can sing too, because in playing instrument, first of all, is not easy. She makes it look so easy, but no, it's not. She's really talented. She could do, seriously, she should perform in the finals. Very nice. Very, very talented. Really creative. But let's look at the pictures now. Bolivia. Really long, really tall. Okay, pretty. This is a right nice picture. Beautiful. Looks beautiful in this. She has a V-shaped face, like almost like a diamond shape, but it's very V. Like the, the chin is really pointy. Beautiful. Let's look at her videos. She reminds me of a beauty queen, I just cannot name who. She reminds me of uh, another la Latina queen from previous years. But she reminds me of someone. But beautiful. I see, okay, I think I know who she reminds me of now. Madison. Just a hint. She looks like Miss Puerto Rico when Zosie Bini Twinsie won Miss Inverse. It's not the same face, but there's some similarity with uh, Madison. Um, Miss Puerto Rico, 2019. And her, something about her looks like medicine. Really pretty, especially without makeup, looks like medicine. Uh, let's look at the group photos Spain, beautiful, Bolivia, nice. Costa Rica, Belize, Venezuela. They're all tall because Venezuela is like 5'10. So these girls must be like more, almost the same or taller. Wow, beautiful. Mm, let's look at her. I think this is a speaking video, right? Let's listen. We have some postcards. Oh, she's beautiful, cute. You can see the fans love her. Yeah, let's take her runway. Oh, this one has music. Madonna, four minutes. It's giving Miss Grand International the music. They're both beautiful. I wish Bolivia did not have sunglasses. I wanted to see her expressions, but Botswana is stunning. Let's go to Botswana next. So Botswana, oh, she's a doctor. Dr. Tanolo C. Tato, I know I'm, I'm butchering the name. I'm really sorry. Uh, Tato K. Wit Willy, Willy? Will I? Sorry. Um, yeah, let's look at her runway. I think Botswana, I will say, she is one of my favorites from Africa, okay? Runway is, it could improve a bit more, but beauty, facial beauty, body's nice, skin tone is good, everything seems really nice. It's very Miss World, I'm getting, but I think she will place top 30 in Miss Universe. Nice, really pretty. Let's look at her more. 
Yeah, beautiful smile, you could see. So she's 5'10", because Shanice is 5'9", I think. No, Shanice is 5'10", too, right? So they're both the same height, yeah. We're getting a lot of tall contestants in Miss Universe. Hmm. Really pretty. Beautiful face. Stunning. We like Botswana. Like, this one looks so nice. I really like that it's... I think that's the flag of Botswana. Blue with white and black. And they have won once back in um, 1999. They won Miss Universe with Botswana. So, you never know. It's been a while since we saw Botswana in Miss Universe. Like, I don't remember the last time they competed. But, they, yeah, they did really well in the first year. So, you never know, guys. But she looks really good. So, we have Turks and Caicos Island. But I'm noticing her more. So, Botswana looks really good. Guyana, side eye. Miss side eye, Botswana. Uh, sorry, Guyana. She did side eye yesterday. <laughs> uh, then, Botswana. I think Botswana is beautiful. Really nice. Very tall. Even the boots, I don't mind so much because she has long legs and it just all complements and balance. So, very successful. Bolivia, yep, Hong Kong and Botswana. Pretty. Okay, Botswana, top 30. Oh, nice, Lebanon. We saw this video yesterday, but really nice to see her. Okay, we're going to move on. Um, oh, this is beautiful too. Her skin is just divine, guys. Oh, she's so beautiful. She looks perfect. Wow. You know what, if Miss Universe does not work out, she should be a model. I can see her really successful as a fashion runway model in Europe. They will love her, trust me. Beautiful, like a supermodel. Okay, we're going from her to... Cameroon! Cameroon is... I don't see her Instagram, I only see the national pageant page. Cameroon has really nice hairstyle, and Eritrea, Moldova. Okay, she is giving us a little bit of, I see, a little bit of R&B inspired. What do you guys think? And she's okay, not my favorite though, but this is a nice look. Nice outfit, nice hair. Peru is beautiful in this one, but they both look nice, so moving on. Uh, Argentina, I already talked about her. El Salvador, let's get El Salvador next. Uh, wait, is that El Salvador? That's Venezuela's page. I mean, come on now, Venezuela. That that smile is stunning. Let's see the whole look. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this girl is something special. There is something special quality with Venezuela and the girls they sent to Miss Universe. I think she could take it all in. Like I'm, I'm just waiting for her to perform because I know she will give us a really good performance. So beautiful. Great. Okay, we're going to a different girl because I'm talking too much about the same girl. Um, I want to see Chile. Let's go to Chile. Uh, let's go to her page. C H I L E. Universal Chile. No, there we go. This is what I was talking about. It's giving us like a little bit of diva, a little bit of a dancer, a bit of movement. Cha cha cha, cha cha diva. But I like it because, you know, it's something different. Because all, all, a lot of the other girls are, have very similar outfits. But the, she is not afraid to give us a bit of drama, a bit of pizzazz. I like it. She's beautiful too. Amelia, right? Let's look at her. Wow. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, yes. Wait, hold on. I, I want to do a return. Look at the girl in purple behind Miss Chili. I'll show you. Okay, now look at the one in purple. No, no, no. This one on purple on the right side. Her mouth is wide open. <gasps> That's what I'm talking about. When I say Chili, she will make it top five. Because she knows how to grab the attention of the whole entire room and just like this lady with the wide like jaw dropping to the floor like <gasps> That's how she's going to do when Chili performs on the stage. That's what you're going to get from Chili. Look at that once again The lady is like <gasps> so beautiful so stunning gorgeous Some might say it's a bit too much, but no, I think that's fine. I don't mind it this is beautiful. She kind of looks like Miss Spain from Miss Grand International, but I think they're both really equally beautiful. Her face is just beautiful. Glamour. 
I think the sponsors will be really happy to have a model. Uh, yeah, I think the sponsors, the makeup, especially the makeup cosmetic brands, they'll be really happy to have her model because her face is perfect for cosmetics. She has really nice features, expressions, beauty, everything is just really nice. So I think Chili could place in top five at the moment. But look at that, the eyes, beautiful expressive eyes, facial features, everything is just really nice. So I think Chili will be in top. Look at that, see? Beautiful. It's just the subtle, subtle like movement. I know she also has hand up, but it, if she just removes the hand, she doesn't need the hand like this. I think just the face alone, the face, the beauty, it's more than enough because less is more. I said this many times keep it simple really nice see this is her this is a personality she's fun she's vibrant she has a great personality she's just bubbly and just really outgoing and I think that's really nice to see so see it once again she's a great to dance let's do this next video uh, photo beautiful pink looks really nice and I like that she's experimenting with the hairstyle because you can see she has curls and previously straight hair this is a bit of a ponytail, then straight hair again. So yeah, let's look at this one. I thought this was a video for a moment. This could easily be an ad. She so just needs to keep this up. Her face, okay, not this one, but the first one. This one is a really nice photo. Beautiful. Yeah. I think she could be in top five. Let's look at uh, this one. Look at that. The face is giving us, guys. This is a Miss Universe face. What do you guys think of Chili? What placement will you give Chili? Because I think she will be in top 5. Minimum top 5. Further down, let's see. Because it's a really strong, tough competition. But I think Chili will make a country really proud and place really high in maybe top 5. What do you guys think? Or top 12? It really depends on how she performs. But I think she'll be really high placement. Beautiful. Got that eyes, the face. It's perfect. Beautiful, stunning. Yeah, she looks great. Divine beauty. So, should we look at her tagged photos? So, mostly. Oh, let's look at Chill. Uh, from Chile, we're going to Cuba. Cuba is Marianne. Marianne Nella. Okay, let's look at her. Chile. This one has music. Arena Grande. Beautiful. I don't really like the dress. Like I don't like the skirt. It's a bit kind of wrinkled. But she looks beautiful. Let's look at her. This one is... Guys, come on. Come on. Cuba is stunning. Beautiful. Wow. She's absolutely stunning. Even this, even though I said I didn't like the skirt, I think she still looks good. Like this is beautiful. And these are just candid photos. These are not filtered, not photoshopped, these are not like professional photos that are taken by the cameras. These are taken by phone, smartphone. So she still looks good. So that says a lot about who she is and her quality. She is she has great Miss Universe quality. So I think she could place really high. Let's see. Videos. Oh not with Tati. Like not my, two of my favorites together. So Tati with Miss Cuba. Beautiful. I want to see more, so I can look at her runway, but she's beautiful. Guys, come on. I think Cuba will be in top, what, top 12 or top 5? What placement do you think Cuba? Because it's just very simple, but she just knows how to make a remark. And I think that's really important when you're in pageant with 127 contestants. You need to make sure you stand out. And I think she's doing a really good job of standing out and becoming herself. But see, see look at that. That's, that's the real her. That's the real Cuba. Even though she was like, oh, sorry, I, I maybe I bumped into you. She apologized. She's like, thank you for being here. I'm really sorry if I like, did something. But like, she's really cute. I like Cuba. I think Cuba will be in top. I will not be, even be surprised if she wins because I think she has that star quality. And that's something I'm really looking for in a contestant. Look at this. This is a beautiful, beautiful look. Her national co No, not national costume. Uh, her Katrina outfit. Sorry. Yeah, this is a beautiful costume. Gorgeous. Okay, let's look any more. I want to see her close-ups. In this one, I love both of them. This is, I'm getting more like a softer makeup and more heavy makeup. You could see Cuba is wearing more like natural, lighter makeup. While Chili is wearing more like a dark, 
makeup. So I like there's a contrast between these two. Wow. Latinas, Peru, Paraguay, Argentina, Cuba, Puerto Rico, and Guatemala. So I'll follow all of them. I'll look at all of the. This one is just divine. Come on, Cuba. Like She looks like Miss Universe, guys. Beautiful. Okay, Curacao. Cyclops. Not a good quality photo, Cyclops. Congo is pretty. Denmark. Should we go to Denmark next, Victoria? Wow. Okay, she hasn't posted off that much, right? Has she posted new? Okay, she has. Eight, uh, nine hours ago. Beautiful. My eyes is just on the middle. Denmark. Her eyes are glistening, glowing, beautiful. Look at that. Posing. It's just remarkable. Her presence is outstanding, and I think that Denmark will make the Europe proud, so keep up. Hmm, we should go to Miss Europe this next. Beautiful. Look at that face. I mean, that is just Maxima, right? That's what Latinos say. That's a Maxima face. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. We like Denmark. It's just so good. You know when it's good and you can feel like, okay, I feel like the right type of person has come to the competition. It feels like that. I like her. I think she looks beautiful. Let's see if there's any more content. So, okay, I think these are, is it runway? This one has music. Let's go to Lewis. Lewis has some too. I'll go to Lewis. And I'll follow, I'll go to Pavi too. So, Louis. I hope you didn't put music. Original, so it does have music. No, it has music. No, I cannot put music. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. Boop. Yes. I'm a baby girl in a baby world. Life is perfect. Everything's perfect. I love, I love Denmark. Beautiful. Honduras, okay, Honduras is another one I'm noticing. She is really pretty. I think she will be a darkest in the competition. It's not a big pageant country, it's a small pageant country, but they have sent a really stunning beauty. She is iconic. She reminds me of uh, Lana a little bit. Do not come for me, Lana fans. Lana Del Rey, I just get that old Hollywood vibes from her. So let's go to Stephanie's Instagram because I want to see her close up shots. Like this. Come on now. Come on. That face. The face is just giving to us. That like it's, it's wow. When I look at her face, I'm like, <gasps> she takes my breath away. That type of beauty that I'm getting from Honduras. Beautiful face. Spectacular. Gorgeous. Also the red hair is quite different because a lot of the girls had a like brown or black hair in the competition. So having red hair I think is an advantage. That's the cat. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Wow. That's that's a Hollywood face. Beautiful. You know what? I love her. Yes. Pretty. Wow. She is beautiful. I think Honduras should place top 30 or top 12. What placement will you give to Honduras? I think she looks great. Even this, like candid photos, she's shining. I mean, Shanish is beautiful, right? But I'm looking at Honduras in this photo. She's glowing in the pictures. She's beautiful, guys. Okay, Honduras, top 12. I'm liking a bit more, so I'll say top 12. Runway. Beautiful. Look, come on. I know she has darker eyes, but even then, she has beautiful shaped eyes. Beautiful. Honduras, we like her. Wow. I love that she's not afraid to showcase her skin tone because usually I notice in pageants girls like to tan, like do fake tan, but I like that she is just embracing her fair skin complexion and just do that. Okay, next up. What do you say? Oh, Pawi. I'm gonna go to Pawi's page. Right. Uh, did I miss anyone? No, I already completed, right? So complete this, finish. Let's go to Lewis. I think Lewis has some photos that I need to look at. Petra, I looked at her. Selena, I looked at her already. I, oh, I haven't seen Mara's now. Mara Topic, Ecuador. 
Wait, I just wanted to know, is Mara, is, is she married or is she single? Because I said she was married yesterday and I got some comments saying she's not. So let me know if she's married or she's not. Okay, anyway. She's beautiful. Face is stunning. Really nice close-up shots. And yeah, I think it's, it's very covered up, but her face is still beautiful. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We like her. We like Ecuador. Even this one is just beautiful. Like these are all the passion countries, and she still looks beautiful. And like she, you can see, she's next to Venezuela, Colombia. These are big passion countries with a lot of Miss Universe and other international crowns. So yeah, Ecuador still is shining, despite, despite standing next to all these powerful countries. Next we have let's see Ecuador, but maybe some videos. Okay, this is by Jose. Pretty. Muchimas gracias, todos. Let's mm, pause. There you go. Okay, not the best quality video, but you can still see her. Beautiful, right? Da, da, boop. She's very good at runway. Okay, let's try to see. Okay, this is a better quality. Da, 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 da. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Nigeria, I haven't talked. What's Nigeria's Instagram? I want to see Nigeria and Zimbabwe. Beautiful, these two in the middle. Uh, okay, let's. Mara, we completed. Egypt looks very really nice. Logan. Sorry. Logina. Logina. So that's her with our makeup. And this is all glammed up. Beautiful, yeah. Runway, let's see. Runway, runway, runway. Give it to us, runway. Nice that she has added her Egyptian heritage styling and accessories. Beautiful. Hermosa. Okay, with Raul. She's a bit small, but it's okay. Nice. Okay, moving on. Uh, who was the other one I want you to see? So these are some hot picks I'm looking at. I haven't talked about Peru. Let's go Peru after this and Zimbabwe. So Logan, thank you. Tati, wow. She is definitely a front runner in the competition. Denim and denim, but I like that her denim is not the typical blue denim. Her denim is a bit more washed out jeans. So there's a bit more texture to it. Her face is just beautiful. Tati, come on. Why are you so beautiful? Yeah, I already saw this one yesterday. Look at let's look at more recent content. So it's a bit more fresh for you guys too. Okay, we cannot see it. We cannot tag her. So let's go to Miss Peru page. Da 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 da. Maybe tagged for Miss Peru. No 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 no. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, milkshake. That's the music they're playing. But there we go. Flick, flick, flick. Give us that attitude. Give us that power. Face is just giving to us, guys. Okay, let's look at a bit more. Maybe there is a different runway. Divine. Divine beauty. And it's a very casual outfit, but still looks stunning. Nice. And it's a different perspective. First one is more from the person recording the previous video. This one is from a point of view of the audience or the media person. Beautiful though. She has really nice body. Uh, let's look a bit more. Do we have maybe a bit of close-ups? Or... Oh, we saw this already, right? But still really pretty. The face is beautiful. Yes, whip that hair back and forth. <laughs> Beautiful. We like Peru. Spectacular. I wish she had more videos on her actual page because I had to go to Miss Peru. So, uh, yeah, I looked at that already. So, I want to go to Asian countries. I haven't talked about Asian countries, right? 
Uh, I'll talk about Thailand. I didn't talk about France. Let's go to France. So Europe for a change. Oh, she posted this uh, yesterday. Beautiful. I like gold in France. I think France skin tone is so brown and beautiful and healthy that if you have gold, it looks really good. So France, beautiful. Beautiful face. Uh, this is more, well, it's technically not that recent. 16 hours ago, so almost a day ago. Day 5. Nice clutch. Pretty. J'adore France. Okay, this is more recent. 6 hours ago. Emily in Paris. <laughs> Hold on, where's the video? Uh, let me refresh. Emily in Paris. Oh, it's playing. Okay, go back. Uh, okay, it is playing. Let me go back and make sure we get to Instagram. Okay. Bonjour. This is very French. Her styling, I like it because it's very French and it's true to who she is, her nationality. So it's really authentic. I wish it was in colour. I wanted to see the overall outfit colours, but really pretty in this one. Okay, moving on. I want to talk about Asian countries. Who do we... Uh, Indonesia, maybe? or Maybe... Oh, maybe this one. No, this is a day ago. Okay, let's talk about India. Or oh, Indonesia. Missy Update probably has more countries. So let's go to that one. Two hours ago. Bahrain, Egypt, Somalia. Okay, nice. Moving on. New Zealand. Okay, we're talking about the Kiwi Queen, Victoria Velasquez from New Zealand. Nice. I don't know if the boots goes with the outfit. I wish the boots were like white, but it's a really nice outfit. Yeah, be more engaging, that's it. The comment section said exactly what I was thinking. I think Victoria's a bit shy. She doesn't post much on her socials. Uh, close Endurance, go to VVV. Oh, wow. Well, that's a different look. I haven't seen her in this hairstyle. I think that's a uh, clip-on, right? It looks like clip-on. She doesn't have this hairstyle. Wow, it's a different style, side to Victoria. And maybe she should try it. It's an experiment. So, one day ago... She is really regal and really elegant. I like the jacket. The jacket is very beautiful. Yeah, I'm, I still think Victoria's Miss World material, but I think she might age out. I don't know how old she is, but beautiful though. Okay, moving on. Uh, Costa Rica, Denmark. Wow. I saw this photo already, but like Denmark is just so beautiful, guys. I think she's standing out for sure. Uh, UAE. Oh, UAE is competing in Miss Universe. I had no idea. I thought they dropped out or something happened to her. Let's go to UAE. She has a lot of followers. Wow, 600,000. She must be a celebrity in her country. Why is her like hidden? I want to see her likes. Okay, so she has already walked at the Cannes Film Festival 2022. That's two hours ago. Pretty. Is she a celebrity? Why is her likes very low? Like, I have some question. This might be a bit of scandalous question. Is she buying followers? Because her followers is really high. And it's, it's half a million. Well, more than half a million. It's 600,000 followers. But her likes is 300, uh, 300, 300 likes. Which does not really make sense. It's less than 10% of her... No, less than 1% of her followers. If it's 600, then it would be like up 1%. Yeah, it's very low. Engagement is not making... The maths is not mathing. So I just wanted to know. I mean, she's pretty good, cool, but I don't really like when people are buying followers. Like, I, I haven't back bought my followers on Instagram. I have a low fan following. Like, in my Instagram, I have less than 30,000. So, like, her likes is very low. It's lower than how much I get, so... It's a bit suspicious. Yeah. 100. Hmm... Something is suspicious over here. Like, yeah, she, can you see it's like 300, 100, it's less than a thousand. I'm not saying, you know, if you think what I'm thinking, then you know exactly what I'm thinking. 
Mm, okay. The highest she has is 700. I'm not saying likes matters, but if you have that many following, if you have 600,000, which is closer to 1 million, something is not adding up. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Okay. That's all. Next one. Cuba, beautiful. Croatia, Albania. Looks really nice in this one. Albania, beautiful. Uh, Nicaragua, Belize, Finland. Beautiful Finland. We love Finland. Bahamas, I already looked at her. Uh, Lebanon, Pakistan. Someone told me to look at Pakistan. So let's look at Pakistan. Okay, Noor. Beautiful. She looks really tall. How tall is Noor? My Pakistani followers, let me know. She is beautiful. Yes, actually beautiful. Yes, our South Asian beauty. Let's look at her with India. Oh, the neighbors dancing. Let's see them together in action. Wait, is is this speaking or is this? She sounds very American. Is she American Pakistani? Because her accent doesn't sound like from Pakistan. Oh, that's sweet. She's just trying out some food. Maybe top 30 because I think her interview will probably be really good. All right, Noor. So my f comment that I got from yesterday, day before yesterday said I need to look at Pakistan. I'm looking at Pakistan, you guys can see. Pretty, I didn't notice that before, but beautiful. Very ethereal, very like royal and regal about her aura. Yeah. Beautiful. I think she needs to try a bit more in terms of social media because she is very demure. So I think she's just a bit more on social media. Her social media presence is not as strong as some of the other girls, but I think she's beautiful facially. And I think her interview skills probably will be really strong. Nice. The hair needs to be a bit thicker though. The hair is a bit thin. The makeup artist, the hairstylist need to work on the hairstyle. Okay, we're going from Bangladesh. So not Bangladesh. Pakistan, sorry. Uh, who is Bangladesh? I, I need to go to hers too. Someone was telling me to go to Bangladesh page. Let me see if I can find her IG. So, is she the Ma Miss Bangladesh? Uh, what's her IG? Anika. Okay, hello Bangladesh. Oh, it has music. Cute. Oh, she looks like an actress. Yeah, someone says, um, Elias says, you need help with the PR. It just seems like you are attending an event, not a beauty pageant. We need more posts related to beauty pageant. That's something I've said to a lot of girls. That if you are joining a beauty pageant, you need to be very, like, daily, you need to update. If you're busy, give to maybe your friends, your family, someone who can handle your social media. Because we fans, we really want to see active social media update. And I think Bangladesh, her social media is not very strong, similar to Pakistan. Beautiful, the face is like an actress. Yes, more please, we want more. Is that contact or is that her eyes? Because her eyes are green. Malaysia. Yeah, she's beautiful. Why, why is she not getting attention? Okay, her runway needs a bit more work. It's not that good. Just with that tiny clip. And I want her to just give us a reel. This is giving us like a lot of edit. I don't want to see a lot of edit. I just want to see one video clip like this. Like, just her giving us a runway clip, which she saw other contestants like this. Just, I just want one clip. I don't want to see like a lot of clips because this looks like a throwback. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that it? Okay. Mm, yeah, it's still giving me like edit. I don't see edit. Oh, this is not from her, but yeah, I need a bit more from. I didn't notice that at all before. So, next Thailand, Hong Kong, Romania, Belize. Mm, I think I looked at most of them already. Russia looks beautiful in this one. Let's listen to them again. Good morning. 
Okay, day six says the okay, it is seven seventy yes, yeah. Seventy third Miss Universe day six is a is a day off for some girls while while others get to finish the registration fittings and take some glam shoots. Okay. Let's look at this one. Romania. Pause right, yeah. There you go. Okay. That was a cute cute walk. I think she would do good for Miss Wall, but I think she's married, right? So that will not work out. But hair is beautiful. Runways so so it's it's fine. Next let's go to great britain and australia so our aussie queen and the uk oh that was a bad photo i could not even see australia they need to put them in the center so whoever is recording the video did a terrible job i couldn't really see australia let's go to australia so zoe uh zoe zoe creed uh let's see another one whose social media is not very strong She's fine. She's quite decent. Beautiful in this one. I like the glow effect they put. Yeah, she's a bit quiet. I don't know why that is. Uh, usually Aussie queens are already out there with a big personality. Let's listen to her. Maybe she'll change my mind. I have got something very exciting. It is day six and we're going to touch up just a little bit on my makeup. I mean, she seems sweet, but I don't know why she's not really getting the highlights because usually Australian queens after last year's uh, with Moira, right? She placed top three, so that's high placement. So there is a lot of expectation from Australia to do really good. But this was a terrible video, so whoever did this video, you need to get fired. No, Australia is barely there in the video. Next. Okay, cute. I'm just, I still want a bit more. Her social media is not like to the to the best game. I just feel like something's lacking with Australia. Like this is the best she has posted yet. This is the best content I've seen from Australia. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's just, it's okay. It's not like wow. I'm not going crazy over it. Then we have which country is this? Is this Kenya? Cute. Nice, pretty. Moving on, we have Croatia. That she is the photographer. She takes a lot of photos of the contestants. That is incredible. Yeah, nice. Next, we have. I will be doing it really fast because I want to see all of them. So this is. I haven't seen uh Colombia. I want to see Colombia's. Okay. She hasn't tagged them. Mm. Beautiful though. Okay, let's see one by one now the ones we haven't seen. We saw Thailand. We saw Dominican Philippines. We haven't seen so let's go Chelsea's So Chelsea uh, Chelsea's is that a project A vote for Chelsea Manalo is a vote for children So I think this is the social work she's doing right for the children in the Philippines uh, and sorry families of the Filipino migrant workers That is sweet. Okay so we're getting to know. that is beautiful that is actually beautiful i love this photo this looks like a vintage painting of a lady of manor this is really nice very classy i like this i mean i don't like the sheerness okay after looking at the overall outfit the sheerness is not that good i wish it was just matte fabric because in the close-up like these looks incredible but the sheerness doesn't add like it's not looking expensive if it was like all matte like from you could see i could see her inside like i don't want to see that if it was all matte i think it would look nice and also the this part it has it looks like a yeah i don't like it but i think it's a really nice close-up photos my dog is making noise he's too hyper now so <laughs> so if you're hearing some noise my dog is on the floor like he's like playing around running around okay next outfit um, it's, this is an old photo. Let's go to the tagged and we'll get a better photos. Who's that? Okay, hello. Uh, maybe, do we have any other photos of Philippines? Let's look at us. I'm at the tagged. I haven't seen anything. Why are there so many male, <laughs> male pageant tagging Chelsea? Uh, okay. Maybe this one. Barbie Okay, yeah, I haven't seen anything recent in 
Mexico. Maybe I should go to uh, Hey Adams. Maybe he has a video of her. Hey Adam. Let's see who has interviewed. Yep, Thailand. Let's we can go to Puerto Rico then. USA, Denmark. We saw this right yesterday. Where's Chelsea? I want to see Chelsea, but so guys, if you're wondering if I'm not posting about Chelsea, it's because her, you could see the, the tag is this is the only thing we got. So this is a pretty photo though, really good close up. But I cannot find her other post, which I know I'm going to get some comment from Filipino fans saying you are not talking about Philippines. I did talk about her. It's just that we cannot find anything new. Maybe this one. What's she saying? Oh, I know who to go to for the Philippines. He always posts about Filipino queens. For the Philippines. Maybe he has something new about Chelsea. Uh, yeah, we are, I talked about this already. Maybe this one is more cool. Oh, no, no. Pause. There we go. Okay, pretty. Yeah, I think the slick back really looks good. With the bun. I think I saw this yesterday, though. Yeah. But the hair and makeup looks really nice. Yeah, pretty. Maybe this one is better. She seems genuine, really friendly. I do not understand Tagalog because I'm not from the Philippines, but she seems really friendly. Oh, she's so sweet. Okay, yeah, I like Philippines. I think Philippines will be in top 12. Okay, another one. There we go. Videos, finally! Oh, sweet. They're roommates, right? Peru and Philippines? Uh, is this runway? No, this is just a screenshot. This is new. I haven't seen this before. Okay. Nice, nice outfit. I think the hair should be bigger though because I think she looks really nice with the big curls. Yeah, I want to see like Whitney Houston or who is the other one? Like someone with big, big hair. Alright, that was nice. Philippines. Any tagged ones maybe? What is this? <laughs> okay. No, I cannot find Chelsea, guys. So that was it, I guess. Unless we have here Adams covering her. Uh, I'm going to this one next. Our Barbie from Celine, Dominicana. Armusa. Denmark. Hola, hola. Beautiful. Yes, like boop. Stunning Denmark. What's this? Oh, this is about yeah. I, I want to know what is going on because I feel like we're getting a conflicted news about this. So this is the press release from the statement from the Miss Universe organization about Panama. So it says, The Miss Universe organization regrets to announce the withdrawal of the Panama's candidate from the Miss Universe pageant. This decision has been taken after a thorough evaluation by the Disciplinary Commission. The Disciplinary Committee... Oh God, he's really loud. Oh, next. Do not make too much noise. The Disciplinary Committee charged with maintaining the integrity and the values of the pageant conduct full matter based on the information gathered and the reviewed has concluded with the withdrawal is the most appropriate course of action under the current circumstances. We still do not know what it is because they are trying to put it really hush hush on the, on the down low. I wish they were a bit more transparent and just let us know maybe she misbehaved we don't know what the reason is but if that was the reason just say it. Okay next uh, I think it's Lebanon nice lebanon is giving us fashion with a big jacket 
Oh, is that Guyana? Because it's flipped, I cannot see the stash properly. Guyana. <laughs> no comments. Macau. All right. Um, going to a different one. Zimbabwe. Hello, Zimbabwe. Saki is so. Saki is beautiful. Our black Barbie. Saki, Saki, Saki. Let's look at Nigeria. Move on to Nigeria, please. Beautiful. Nigeria is so stunning. She is the well, she's one of the smallest because Somalia is smaller than her, but one of the smaller, but really beautiful. Let's go to Chi Chi's Instagram first, then we'll go to who's the other one? Zimbabwe Saki afterwards. Chi Chi! Wow, Chi Chi! Oh, my, these are my African goddesses right there. I love both of them, Zimbabwe and Nigeria. I feel like this is the best of the best. I, uh, Nigeria, not Nigeria, the best of the best Africa has to offer, sorry. Yeah, so I like both of them. Beautiful, wow. These two in the middle, Nigeria and Zimbabwe, they're just beautiful. Love. Let's. <gasps> Really pretty, this one. Her face is beautiful. Her name is Chi Chi from Nigeria. I'm really happy that she's having a ball, and I know that she had a bit of a drama back in South Africa, but I'm happy. This is a beautiful look. Beautiful. Wow. Gorgeous, Nigeria. Really pretty. Let's take her. Is this. I'm getting Mortish Adams. I'm getting Mortish Adams. Beautiful, and I love Adam's family. So I'm getting like a red dress inspired by Mortisha Adams. Beautiful, Chichi. Like, yes, our Nigerian queen is back on top. This, the face card, guys. It's so beautiful to see Nigeria really glowing. She looks great. I like it. I like both of them. So let's go to Zimbabwe next. So Saki, Saki, Saki is just. Oh. I cannot with like Zimbabwe you just I cannot breathe right just looking at it, I'm like oh, blown away absolutely beautiful like this head to toe perfect head to toe perfect top five Zimbabwe top five I think she probably will be the highest placing African contestant because she has a good stage presence beauty she looks like a supermodel I can see her easily in Hollywood as an actress beautiful let's look at the runway Wait, no, it has music, yeah. Zimbabwe, there we go. The turns, the beauty, the aura, the energy is just, it's just pinnacle of the African beauty. I feel like this is the best of the Africa we have got to offer. And I feel like she will place really high. So what placement will you get to Zimbabwe, guys? Let me know, because I have really high expectation from her. I think she will do just really proud. She'll make the whole continent of Africa proud. Because look at that, not even looking down. She's like, let me feel myself beautiful stunning so we have other black queens so uh see belgium i don't know who i think that's tnt and i don't know who the one on the left is but okay beautiful i'm liking zimbabwe let's look at zimbabwe in action look at that she's like behind the scene you get what, what you want to see there you go zimbabwe zimbabwe on top then after zimbabwe we have belgium belgium is more like refined but I'm not seeing pageant walk from her. Then we have, who is this? Uh, oh, yes, US Virgin Island. I didn't see her because of a stash. Really beautiful, very nice jawline. And the last one is Trinidad and Tobago, the land of Nicki Minaj. I know her, I know the country because of Nicki. Wow, beautiful, love, 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 love. So pretty, so beautiful, guys. Uh, the close-ups. Hello. Hello. She has arrived. Yeah, she has arrived. Okay, we're going to a different one. Look, this is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Honduras. Cuba. Uh, I think that's Jamaica. Should we go to Jamaica next? Rachel. Finally, I found Instagram. Okay, Rachel. Let's look at the 
Wow. Pretty. It's a very fast, <laughs> fast speed video. I want to see the the afterwards, how she looks like with the overall make, makeup. Pardon me. There we go. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Jamaica, the queen of Caribbean. Uh, let's look at this one next. Okay, it's a sweet look. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. It's, it's okay. I mean, it's not my favorite look. It's, it's just fine. Maybe runway looks better. So, oh, there we go. The one in the middle. She's like, let me give you some extra spice. There we go. J Jamaica knows. She is that girl. Like, Jamaicans, they always need to give them something special because I know Naomi Campbell is also Jamaican and she has a, such a good runway look. So, there we go. Hello, universe. Is this voice? Este, este. I like that she can speak Spanish, so she gets extra points for that. Beautiful. And it's nice that she didn't use any audio, like the music, because that would have ruined the moment. We could actually listen to her pronunciation and how she speaks. Bam! Finally, we headed back to the hotel where we had the dinner, and that's the end of day three. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Really nice. Good job, Jamaica. Okay, from Jamaica, we're going to... What country is this? Tanya. Mauritius, okay, Mauritius beautiful. Let's look at her video, Mauritius. Nice. I think I noticed her yesterday too, right? In the fashion show, she did really good in the fashion show too. So maybe Mauritius will place in top 30. What do you guys think of Mauritius? Beautiful. She kind of looks Indian. I don't know if she's Indian, but her face is giving us like Indian queens. Yeah, really pretty. Beautiful smile. Let's see runway, maybe she has good runway. Let's look at it. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Nice. Nice turns. Very smooth. I like her hair. The hair is beautiful. Yeah, I think she's Indian, right? Her name is Tanya. Beautiful eyes. Really expressive eyes. Nice. Very strong uh, jawline. Okay, next we have... Should we go to India? I haven't talked about India today, which is strange because I always talk about her. So let's go to India in a moment. Uh, her name is Rhea. So R E. There we go, Rhea. Oh, nice, two hours ago. Oh, okay. This is a nice outfit. What is this? Is this flower? It's meant to be like a bouquet. I see some petals, like. Face is beautiful. The dress, I'm so so. It's, it's fine. And let's look at maybe an action. It looks better. Oh, it looks much better in video. <laughs> in the photo, it didn't look that good. So I just wanted to see how it looked like. Money, 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 money. Ma, wash together, me. Sorry, me. Is she beautiful? What do you think of India? She looks really cute. Much better in video than in photos, I would say. The dress, I didn't really like it much on the photos. Next, we have, I think this is back home. In, uh, oh, it's in Vietnam. Oh, she went to Vietnam to travel. So she has Vietnamese fans. Da Nang. Okay, I think Miss Grand International was in Da Nang before. Oh, so this is a throwback. Okay. Nice. Aldoi, uh, Aldai, I'd say. Uh, yeah, the Vietnamese outfit. Cute. Oh, that's sweet. It has India flag into that. Sweet. That is lovely. Can we see audio? Uh, no audio. Okay. Let's go down. Maybe then. Well, this is from yesterday. 
Let's go to a tagged. Today's outfit is so-so. What do you think of India's outfit? Do you like it? I mean, her face is beautiful, but I'm not a big fan of the outfit. This kind of looks... I don't know. It's giving me, like, Miss Earth vibes. I think this is better. This one, I was like, wowed. Yesterday's outfit is much stronger. Because this looks glamorous. I think this is the direction she should be heading. So this outfit gets 9 out of 10. Today's outfit, maybe like 6 out of 10. I don't know. It just doesn't look that good, the gown. Sorry, the cocktail dress, not the gown. Maybe it looks better in... Maybe she has other outfits. No, she may. I'm looking at her tagged to see if she has more content. Like this. This is from yesterday. Tell me this doesn't look good. Like this styling, the makeup, the hair, the runway, everything looks really good. Like this is what I want to see from Rhea. Which I know she can offer, she can deliver. It's just about the right styling. And the styling, this one is way superior compared to what she wore today. So bye, go down. No, no. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye. Okay. Yeah, this is way more successful. I like this one much better than today's outfit. Uh, okay, I've, have I? Who should I look at? See, even this place agrees with me. This is way better. Okay, so we're going to Slovakia next, going to Europe. Petra. Beautiful. Oh, I already looked at Petra's, right? Uh, never mind. Uh, next, we have, we looked at her Puerto Rico. Did I look at Jennifer's post today? Jennifer... This is from yesterday, right now. Fifth, yeah. Still pretty. I mean, it's a safe outfit, but she looks beautiful. I don't really like the top. There's too much straps. But beautiful face is just beautiful. Aww. Now that's a Puerto Rican. <laughs> you can you can always spot out a Puerto Rican Puerto Rican queen because they always like like to dress sexy, and you can see it's very like you can see a lot of skin. Like look at the back, yeah. But face is just beautiful. So not many content from her today. I wanted to see more. Mm, I mean, it's fine. It's not my type. It's a bit revealing for me, but if she likes it, do you. Where is Puerto Rico though? Wow, where is she? Maybe this one? It's a video. I saw this already. Uh, maybe this one. Is she talking? Yeah, I think she needs to improve her styling. I'm not liking this red dress, red um, outfit. Uh, okay, like, let's go to Mia. I like Mia's outfit. Mia, let's go to her IG. Uh, did I talk, did I watch these? Yeah, I've already watched these, right? Bolivia's cute, Thailand, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's that? Adam, you have good taste in men. Who is he? Oh, so he was, he's viral, nice. Jose Pamparaguay, good job. Good luck, Adams, go for it. Uh, who was, what was I gonna say? So, yeah, sorry, Mia. Very handsome. Okay, Mia, let's go to IG, our South African queen. Beautiful, this face is gorgeous. Beautiful. Let's look at in, and I saw this yesterday. I, I just want to see the more recent post. It's Eleven hours. Ah. Okay. Let's look. She kind of gives me a little bit of oh, doctor. I, I I see a bit of Rolin, the Miss World. There's something about her that reminds me of Rolin. My dog fur is everywhere now. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I think her runway needs a bit more improvement, but facially she kind of gave me really Miss World vibes, but very pretty though. Yeah, facially beautiful. Look at that, movement, really nice movement. 
captured on the photo. Mm, no music, please. Is that a South, uh, South Africa's roommate? Who's that? Okay, I don't know who the other girl is. Fiji. It says Fiji, okay. Oh, that's sweet. That is a really nice video. Oh, Fiji water, of course. It's the famous everywhere, Fiji water. Look at that. She's like casually just luxuriating. She's like, I'm, I'm a rich woman. I'm just going to go on my holiday. Yes. I th is this in Mexico or is this in uh, South Africa? Mm-mm. Okay, education option. Hold on, I want to see without music so I can listen. To this is better. This has music too. Please don't use music. I just want to hear her. If I use music, I'll get copyright. Okay, I'll just play this just for a second. Right. Maybe it's in a story. If it's in a story, I can just play it from a story. This is better. Much better. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to feel anything bad. And I'm only saying about the styling. I'm not talking about her as a person. I think she's incredible, Mia. You're strong, you're brave, and you're inspiring so many people. So I know you're probably feeling that, oh no, I need to just keep have high energy for every day. No, it's not necessary. The most important thing is you're healthy, you have a good state of mind, and you're there to just do a good job of re representing South Africa. So I think that's very important. But please keep make sure you're feeling good because... Personal health is the most important thing. So I think you're doing a great job. Okay. Okay, we like South Africa. So is that it? I'm not seeing anyone new now. Uh, let's see. So Missology has posted a few more. Okay. I like Argentina's outfit. Nigeria from this group. Mm. Oh, Mexico. I haven't talked about Mexico today. I mean, that's a, it's a fine. It's a fine outfit. In this one, I think Pakistan looks the Pakistan and Mal uh, Malaysia looks the best. Ukraine, Fiji is cute, by the way. Thailand also looks nice. Uh, Cote d'Ivoire is really pu beautiful. Hungary is stunning. I didn't know what it's Hungary for. She kind of reminds me of last year's Miss Australia. Bolivia, okay, Zimbabwe, hands down. Brazil, I didn't really see Brazil. Malta looks like a model. Brazil, Israel. I wish he tagged them. I want to see Brazil's Instagram. Colombia, Samoa, of course, back to her flowers. She always has flowers. Okay. Let's see. Maybe Pageant News has tagged some new girls. News. Oh, yeah. You know what, what I want to talk about? Mrs. has posted their second hot pics. And it's a big page. So they do have some kind of influence on... I'm not saying the results, but they do have some power. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about what I thought on the leaderboard. So they think Puerto Rico is going to win Miss Universe with Nigeria, Thailand, Paraguay, and Finland in top five. Do you agree with Missology pick? This is not my pick. This is Missology's hot picks. I would change some of them in the top five, but that's just me. Um, so he says, according to Paui, the top 12 include France, 
Ecuador, Malaysia, Venezuela, Peru, Mexico, and Zimbabwe. We're pretty similar. I would probably remove France from top 12 because our performance has not been that great. Mm. And Malaysia is also, it's fine. But I still maybe would probably put other countries. Yeah, like India maybe or Philippines in top 12. Just my personal opinion. And also Donald Republic is really low at uh, number 16. So let me know what do you guys think. Who are your personal favorites in the comment section. This is by Mississology. They just posted two hours ago. I was really curious to see what are your thoughts on it. So they have posted top 30. I will post my personal prediction after the preliminary competition because if I post now, I feel like I will probably not get it right because it's too early. We're still two weeks away, less than two weeks away from the final competition of Miss Universe and only after the preliminary competition, I feel really confident about certain countries who will for sure win or be in top five. So that's my personal opinion. So yeah, looking at it, I'll probably see Chile is also ranked very low. Chile and India um, and Dominican Republic and the Philippines should be in top 12. Yeah, I don't really agree with that. Some of the girls in top 5. But that's just my personal opinion. So let me know if you agree with Mississology's pick. And who are your personal favorites for Miss Universe competitions. I spoke for over an hour. So I think I'm going to end the live stream now. So yeah, Ecuador is beautiful. Chile we love. Yeah, I think that's it, right? I, I, have I missed out anyone? I, I think I try to keep it as balanced as possible. And yeah, that was it. That was my today's... Let's see. That. Yeah, so let me know in the comment section who are your personal favorites for Miss Universe 2024. Thank you so much for watching the day six of Miss Universe competition. I hope you guys enjoyed my chat. So I had a lovely time talking about it. I, I know like I tried some vit you know, double C, vitamin C, just to energize myself. So I feel like I have a bit more energy throughout the one hour live stream. And if you enjoyed it, please like, comment, uh, share to your social media. And do not forget to subscribe and re click the bell notification bell to see more videos like this and updates so thank you so much for watching this video i will see you tomorrow it will be officially one week of our <laughs> doing live stream every day so i will see you tomorrow okay so bye bye